to us if people come in and out of here so much. It seems like you've been here a long time. Does it feel that way to you? It, it does in a way. Um, I mean, at the same time, it feels kind of like it's flown by. So um, I can remember freshman year getting here, and then it seems like forever ago that that, that was the case. So, um, yeah, it does seem like I've been here a while. Sure, what's going to be your best memory of being of your time here? Oh, man. Um, I'd probably have to say the national championship. I'm um, just growing up and watching it on TV, and then just being a part of it was really special for me. More likely to cry here, John. John. <laughs> Easily. No hesitation. No hesitation. How much did you grow up, Jared, wanting to play for Kentucky? Uh, that was always my dream school. I'll be honest, I would probably never expect that I'd actually be here. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I was a Kentucky fan my whole life, and my dad was his whole life before that. So um, I knew that if I ever got the opportunity to play for Kentucky that I would always take it. So um, it's really just a dream come true for me to be here. And I've been here for four years, and all the things I've experienced is really um, special for me and my family. How much has it been? I'm, I'm sure when some people thought when they, they recruited you late in the process and so forth, though, you know, he'll get some minutes here and there. But you've been much more of a factor than, than that. How much... When you can how much has it been any different in that regard than what you thought it would be, or did you think all along I, I've got a chance to be to make a sizable contribution? I mean, me personally, just being a competitor, I always thought that um, maybe down the road I would I'd get significant minutes and be able to compete with um, Division One opponents. And I don't know if a lot of people thought that even people that were close to me would ever think that, just because Kentucky is on such a high level. So um, I'm just really grateful for everything that I've been a part of and everything I've been able to accomplish and um, I don't know, it's just like a dream come true. Sure, you said that the championship was obviously top on the team list, but is that Maryland game still the top individual moment that you Um I, I, yeah, I guess so, individually speaking. Um, I mean, that was the first time I ever really played in the game that mattered and um, not only, yeah, that was just kind of the, the rise of my career or whatever, playing time and stuff. So yeah, that was definitely special for me. Karen, everybody wants to play for Kentucky, but not a lot of people get to do that. You, you've seen behind the curtain, so to speak. What is it like that regular people don't understand? Um, probably just, just how hard it is. Um, I guess people a lot of times see see the glamour of it and how every, everyone's a pop star and all of that last stuff. And that's really, that's really cool, and being able to um, be role models for kids and stuff like that is really cool. But... Um, a lot, a lot of hard work goes into it, and um, and we like that. We call it the grind. So that's pretty cool for us. And yeah, I guess just the hard work and everything they have to put into it to be successful.